Hello everyone, Trix here and welcome back to Let's Play Virtual Boy Wario Land. The second game in the Wario Land series, even though there is a Wario Land 2 later on. Don't get confused. It's confusing enough this series because Wario can be a little bit complex in some cases. Especially when the WarioWare series also become a thing. But we're on the Virtual Boy right now and we're playing this small little game because why not? It is in 2D, not in virtual reality, so if you brought your virtual reality gear with you... I'm sorry, can't watch it with that. Hello. Boss stage, and every single boss stage first gives you this little mid-boss before you're actually allowed into the boss area. It's a spiky dude who tries to hit you. Just make him miss you, hit him on his little button, which is pro... Pretty, e uh, pretty easily distinguishable as his weak point. And he should be taken care of quickly. Alright, let's get into the real business now. Our first virtual reality boss in 2D. <laughs> yeah, normally this would come out better in virtual reality. Because you can actually see the depth here. What you're going to want to do is dodge his spiked ball. He's going to launch at you. It's some kind of dragon guy with a spiked ball on his head. <laughs> and then he'll come to the foreground. You're going to want to hit him on his head. Watch out for the spiked ball, because it can still hit you! Like I just said, it can still hit you. Right, this tiny warrior, this is going to be annoying, because I can't dash anymore. This is going to make it harder to avoid him. Case in point. Okay, let's try that again. Luckily, you don't have to defeat this mid-boss again. The Guardian, I believe it's officially called. And also, luckily, the game makes you big Wario again. You, ne you never start as tiny Wario once you die. You always respawn as normal Wario at the very beginning of the stage, by the way. There's no checkpoints in this game. In the boss stage, it doesn't really matter too much. Because how would you do a checkpoint in the boss? <laughs> at least not in the platformer. There we go. And it's a simple matter of doing that over and over again. Three is the magic number in, in Nintendo games. And even on the unknown Virtual Boy, that is not an exception. Three is still the magical number. Bam. I do love the time limits in this. There's always 20 minutes you get for every stage. And the stages I can kinda understand, but... How would you do 20 minutes in this boss stage? <laughs> Might try that out someday as, as kind of a challenge in the future. Can I survive for 20 minutes? Is it possible to do a boss stage <laughs> and actually make the time run out? <laughs> but anyway, there we go. You still hit me, but... Alright, once you beat the boss, you get covered in coins. So try to get as many as you can. This is some tiny warrior who can't dash anymore, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get most of them, but... Like I said, I'm not going for max number of coins in this game. I'm just going for as many as I can. So I'm not going to bother if I miss one or two. When we get the shiny key. Okay. Level done. Shiny key works the same. Just unlock the end of stage and go to the next. <laughs> right, kind of a bummer that I lost a life at the boss. I was kind of hoping the Super Mario World project would make me... The master of no death runs in platformers, but it's not going to be the case for this one. <laughs> well, at least I have one part where, where it didn't die. The very first one. Okay, got myself a few coins extra, I got lucky. Again, I think I'm going to do that uh, uh, every single first stage I do in a video. I'll just do one bonus, see what I can score. Alright, it is time for the very first normal level of the day. Boss fights are fun. But we're platforming here. Hi Spike. Excuse my Mario terminology every once in a while, but whenever I see an enemy that throws spiked balls at you, it is a spike. <laughs> you get over here. I noticed that I forgot to mention this in the very first part, but every... Once in a while you see these floating clouds with a coin symbol on it. And whenever you throw an enemy in it, you 
receive 10 coins for it. You can see here. Oh, excuse me, it's 20 coins. It's a bigger coin, so it's worth 20. And there is a difference in the value of coins you collect. A small coin is 1. A little bit bigger coin is 10. And a big coin is 20. You might have noticed that already. And this is the very first stage where actually split paths come into uh, existence. So it's going to be a little bit harder to traverse the stage in order to find every secret. Sometimes it requires some backtracking. Just like in this stage. Ooh, we get a new power-up. The one power-up we have not seen yet. Eagle. Eagle Wario. Also makes a return from Wario Land 1, so it works the same. Don't really have to explain too much. But I get a combo because I already got Dragon Wario. It gets combined with Dragon. Eagle Dragon Wario is actually the most powerful power-up in this game. You get all the abilities. You can breathe fire, you can fly, like with Eagle Wario. And you can also ground pound. So if you manage to find uh, an Eagle statue and a Dragon statue, you'll get this uh, neat combo. Uh, I'm not too sure if it has an official name. Future Tricks will help you if he uh, bothers to sh look that up. Because I can't really say that from the top of my head right now. But anyway, if you manage to combine Eagle and Dragon Wario, you can actually get this uh, combo in which you have all the abilities. Breathing fire, ground pounding, you can do everything. But just like with every other power-up, you lose it, you lose all of it once you get hit. You also return to Tiny Wario immediately. So the showing off of Eagle Wario is going to be postponed for a little while. Hello, door. Because of course I'm not going to get deliberately hit just to show off the eagle. It'll come by, I'll get hit at some point. This game is way too hard for me. I will get hit. <laughs> right, there's a dragon and eagle statue here, so... You can once again get this combo if you're... Nah, come on! Why am I such an idiot? Well, here's Eagle Wario. Eagle Wario has the ability to dash, like normal Wario. More importantly, we cannot ground pound, but we can fly now, as you can see. If you dash in the air, Eagle Wario has the ability to dash in the air. And just like in the first Wario Land game, you can fly for a few moments. It's not indefinite. As you can see, whenever you are in the air too long, the game will say, you're going down. So I don't think you can cheese too much with this. Unlike in Warrior Land 1, where if you can button mesh properly enough, you can at all the time reset your flight counter and then you can fly indefinitely if you can uh, button mesh long enough. Just like it worked in Wario, in Mario Land 2, because the power-up or technically originates from Mario Land 2. It just get a, gets a revamp in the Wario Land games, Wario Land 1 and Virtual by Wario Land. And here's the exit of the stage apparently, and I don't have anything yet. So apparently all the stuff is in the split path. Come on! That was mean. I killed that guy. <laughs> Spike ball, I did not realize it was still there. Wario angry. Wario going to bash a few heads. And apparently there's a door here that I... Uh, completely missed. Right, eagle. Can't ground pound with the eagle, so... Let's hope we don't... Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing it now. After part one, I was really like... Hmm, it's going pretty smoothly. I could no death run this game. But part two completely disagrees with that. I knew it was because the stages were too easy. <laughs> Right, but anyway, let's just go into this room we have not seen yet. Because we went to top path. Oh, stupid spears. You keep those spears with you. I don't care for them. Because we did not meet 
a single thing the first time through. With that I mean the top pathway. I'm pretty sure everything is hidden here. Both the treasure and the key. Bam. Bye. Alright, we get eagle again. Let's lose it immediately. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that, it seems. There's stuff up there. How do I get there? Hello. There's a dragon statue. How do we get up there? Oh, there we go. Background kind of blended in a little bit, so I thought... That was a foreground obstacle, but it apparently was on the background. Yeah, that's the downside of uh, this 2D show-off of um, virtual reality game. Not just for the video, I'm also playing it in 2D. And sometimes because of the de depth not being present the way it should be, it's not always as recognizable whether something is for or background. Usually you can just assume something is background by the fact that it's smaller a little bit. But sometimes when something is very large, like those pillars, which are supposed to act as platforms in the background, it might seem foreground business. And trust me, if you're playing this in virtual reality, it is easier to distinguish that. But it's still not worth playing this game in the original virtual reality, because trust me, there's no way to record that pro properly. And I know most of the people don't have any VR glasses or VR gear in general ready to watch this on YouTube. I know that is possible. You can upload videos to make them watchable in virtual reality. You can make videos that support... How do you get there? Oh, <laughs> it's a small little platform uh, to support you. All right. You can ground pound. Let's just go over here because I noticed there were some secrets over here. Which we needed to grab. It's just going to be coins, I think. Let's just get back up. These platforms. And for some reason, all these background... ...areas remind me of... ...both Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, where you have... Stuff like that, where you background platform in some cases, but also uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, which also makes use of uh, perspective switches in some cases. This game predates both of them by a lot of years. I'm pretty sure you can get up here. Yeah, there we go. Right, how many secrets does this room hold for me? Haha! I knew it! Am I finally going to find a key somewhere? The treasure I can live with if I don't find that. I'll just off-screen that on my own, but... The key is actually... Ooh! Door. The key is actually required to beat a level, so... If I don't find the key, there's no way I can exit the stage. <laughs> and all those here. I'm pretty sure there's more than that. Haha! -ha! I even need a dragon here because apparently some fire blocks were present. That's all that is breakable here. Yeah, apparently that is. Right, how the hell oh, hello! Hidden blocks. I was just going to ask how the hell you're supposed to get up there. Okay, I'll do it like that. There's one up here. That's apparently what we're doing this for. See if we can get back alive. There we go. Okay, not really what I was looking for. It was a secret, but it was still no key and it was also still no treasure. Yeah, levels are going to get a little bit more complicated, it seems. Still haven't found the thing. Don't. You just killed me, so you're not going to do that again. Bye. Okay, what else has this place hidden for me? This is the final room, so... There's a platform up there. Let's see if I can get there. That looks suspicious. Little branch that acts as a platform. Hello! I knew it. Whenever a platform is placed like that, it is suspicious enough 
that my platformer instinct says there is something hidden there. Speaking of hidden things, more hidden blocks. I have a feeling the treasure is going to be here. I think the key is a little bit more in an open section since that is required. So I don't think I'm going to hide that here. But you never know. It's going to have something at least. And let's get Mega Wario again. Let's call it Mega Wario for now. <laughs> I need to think of... Hey! Is this going to be the treasure room? Hell yeah! Finally found it. Took a while. <laughs> Been in the stage for six and a half minutes already. Of course, I completely forgot you can also fly when you're Mega Wario. I did mention that, but <laughs> I don't believe I've used it yet. Man, I'm distorted. <laughs> anyway, I don't believe we really needed that for this course, just for a handful of coins, maybe. There's so another dragon statue in here. Where is the key in this stage? There we are. Well, it's pretty much in the open then and pretty much at the end of the stage because here's the door. The key is literally in the question mark block before the end of the stage. <laughs> I was getting paranoid about... Dang it, I forgot it. Completely unnecessary. In this stage, it's apparently just before the exit. <laughs> right, rule number one. Only going to do bo bonus stages in the first video of... A in the first stage of a video. Not doing it now. Right, level took a while, but the boss stage was relatively short, so... With that, we're still not really done with time, so let's just do another one. I kind of like this uh, do three stages per video business. I think I'll keep it like that, so uh, I can... Uh, there's water with currents now, that's going to be annoying. But anyway, like I was trying to say... Let's go for three courses per video, I kind of like that concept, so we, you know uh, what to expect beforehand. Come on! Why did I not see that guy? I did not register there being an enemy at all. <laughs> but if I keep my streak of three courses per video, I can finish this game in five videos, not that much. Pretty much justifying the fact that I chose to do this as a weekend project, because I kind of knew beforehand this would not be a very long game to play. Come on, swim, Wario. Ah! There's no way I could get past there. Why is there no run button in this game? Really annoying because I kind of need that on the water because I was getting the feeling I was not able to swim fast enough to get past that current there. You shut up. Oh, you can swim apparently. <laughs> Those enemies don't die when you throw them in the water. <laughs> Good to know. You bye. Okay, it worked this time. Not really too sure how that worked. Might try that out later. I, I think it's pretty weird that this game does not really have a run button, so I might f try to look that up at some point, how that really works. I've been pressing B all this time, just like, like I always do in a platformer. I always have uh, the B button automatically pressed and uh, then... It was pretty obvious that was a secret. But like I was trying to say, I always have the B button pressed and I always try to... ...press the a, a button with that in order to keep my run going. But I've noticed this game doesn't really have that. I'm still automatically pressing the B button, which is also the bash button. Or the fly button, or the... Ah, come on. Or the fire breathing button, depending on what power up you have right now. In my case, absolutely nothing. <laughs> my power up is Tiny Wario. Tiny Wario also has a power up. <laughs> kind of is, because Tiny Wario is uh, kind of a thing in uh, WarioWare. It's usually the end boss in uh, WarioWare games. The final set of uh, micro games you play usually is. Uh, Tiny Wario involved. <laughs> oh, 
I just killed all the enemies. Now you're giving me a cloud. <laughs> really? Alright, just let's continue. There's nothing of importance hidden in there. No key, no treasure. Oh, eagle statue, but I already have my max power. You go out of my face. I want that question block. Come on. Why is there a single spike place there? Oh, I know why. Because I got hit by it. So it's definitely placed in a good position in order to annoy gamers. <laughs> oh, I'll get my biggest power up back. <laughs> oh, it looks suspicious, but apparently you can't break that. Let's just continue. Get out of my way. It is pretty um, inspiring that they made a swordfish. But the swords they have as their nose, which usually is the sword in a swordfish, their nose, is a chainsaw in this case. <laughs> that is very inspiring. <laughs> uh, is that all there is here? Just a switch? Not really too sure what the switch does because I don't see anything happening, but. None of the walls seem to be breakable, but so I'm going to assume that switch is for something later in the level. I'll just continue then. Right, waterfall mechanics. We can actually swim up this waterfall. Kind of need to button mesh for that, as you might notice. You can actually swim up here. That replaces your jumping mechanics here. You can still walk on those uh, platforms, but jumping is actually this uh, swim climb. Don't try this in real life. I'm pretty sure you can't climb a waterfall in real life this way. <laughs> Let's get in this pipe. What do you have for me here? Hopefully treasure, hopefully key, hopefully both. <laughs> that would be easy. Finding both of the secrets that are findable in a level in the same location. That would be nice, so I don't have to worry about those anymore. That's something that is going to worry me every single level, because like I said, I have forgotten completely in every single stage where everything is. You, so far I've been able to find both of them without having to do that off screen, because I simply wasn't able to find it at all. Now speaking of finding, here's the key. Should have seen that coming. Give me a power up. Now please. You. You look like a power-up, You or don't look like a power-up. Why are you so mean to me, game? Something I'm missing here? Nope. No power-up here. In that case, I need to be careful. I don't want to die here, because I'm pretty far in the level right now. So if I die, I have to do a lot of things over again. But here we go. This one was still there, because I couldn't grab it. Same applies to you. So we are back in safe havens right now. Let's just continue. We still need treasure to find. And I'm pretty sure that switch we pressed in an earlier room is involved with that. Aha, I see another one. I have to... Ah, come on. I have the feeling this switch was not accessible if I wouldn't have pressed the other one. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Wario, you do break a lot of things in your adventures. Aha! It's a dress. It's still a treasure worth getting. <laughs> because apparently it's worth something. Otherwise Wario wouldn't be collecting it. Right, in that case it's just a matter of... Uh, see if I can find some more secrets for some loose coins. But if I don't find them, I'm not going to worry, because that is not too important. What is important is finding the end of the stage. It shouldn't be too long for now, because we have been in this level for a while. And unlike the last course, this one is a lot more linear, I've noticed. So no real uh, places where you can branch your path. Okay, it was an easy room. Oh, this looks a little bit more complicated. Water current maze. 
See that in a lot of games. Kirby games also like them. <laughs> See them a lot in those as well. And I know there's a couple in Wario Land 2 as well. Wario Land 3 has one. Yeah, this is pretty common in platformers. Let's see if I can get most of the secrets in here. I want that question mark block. I'm pretty curious about that one. Oh, it's just a power-up. Well, at least you know there's a dragon statue in that. <laughs> if you're following along. <laughs> oh, hello. I see those dragon blocks. Bam. Bam. Apparently you can't hit them when you're off-screen. Aha! There's the big secret here, the one-up. Let's get those final few coins. Not gonna care for the single one. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Singular coin fell down there for some reason. I think we've got everything in here. I just, yeah, this is the final room. Let's get these final array of question blocks and let's call it a day. Because exit stage is going to be the third stage for today. And therefore, the final one. <laughs> Alright. Let's summarize what we've got so far. We're halfway done with the treasures. Because we are halfway done, done with the regular stages. But there are three more boss stages coming up, including the final boss. We've been playing for almost 41 minutes. Which is a good, good thing, because the fight that by two and you're at 20 minutes per video. So, yeah, things work out pretty well. <laughs> Anyway, this has been it for today. I will have another video tomorrow, I think, because the Mario World project ended early, so... I think I'm going to do three videos from now, so... I can finish this next week, because otherwise I'll have a loose video. It's an odd number of videos, because I'm pretty sure this is going to end up with five videos. So, I think I'm going to do another one tomorrow. Don't hold me by it. If it's not the case, then uh, please don't judge me. But I think I'll do another one tomorrow. So, see you next time for that, and Treaks out.